everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna be doing kind of like a house update type of vlog thing. We have been recording basically every little thing that we've been working on throughout the house. So yes. it's gonna be a bit of a mismatch, mismatch thing of clips. Just of everything that's been going on the yep. past few weeks. We haven't been posting a, a ton of content about the house, but right. we have been getting a lot of comments about it. So we thought, why not just throw them all in together? You guys can yep. see what's been going on, the projects we've been doing. We've been having a really fun time. So uh, hopefully you guys like the stuff that's going on. And yes. Yeah. Uh, fun is a generous way to put it. There have been lots of ups and downs, <laughs> highs and lows, if you will. Yeah. For instance, this happened the other day. Hello, everyone. You may be wondering why we're gathered here today in the bathroom with big rubber gloves and a screwdriver. Well, there are many reasons why, but today's <laughs> reason is we are about to tackle something um, we've been deathly afraid of doing and we've been putting off for quite some time. As you can see here, we have a very clogged drain. I'm gonna say this is not us, mostly. About maybe 5% is us. We moved into here with the shower like this and you may be wondering, Paige and Holly, why are you even showering down here to begin with? Well, we painted the upstairs shower. It is untouchable until we cock it. Yeah. Ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're showering down here. The worst part of all this is not even that there's hair in the drain, like usually I can deal with that no problem, that's kind of like my thing, but usually when it's just mine or Holly's hair. The fact that this is who knows how many different human beings or animals, <laughs> they had big dogs, I don't know. Paige said I can be cameraman, so that's how I know she loves me. Yeah, um, although I do see here there's no screw in there. Good lord, now have have mercy. Here. That is disgusting. I'm deathly afraid. Oh my, that's like the Chamber of Secrets down there. I don't want to smell it. Oh, <gasps> ew. I'm gonna bomb. That's okay. Um, do I just grab it with my hands? Yeah. Oh, I'm oh it smells, it smells. We should have got Febreze. Just spray it, spray it on that. In the hole too. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Oh, what's white in there? You are 10 times the woman I will ever be. I don't want to go down the hole. I've never heard you say that before. Oh. So yeah, stuff like that. Maybe not so fun, but I guess on a more positive note, Paige, if you want to lead the tour. I do. We've basically finally done the main room. For the most part, it's about 90% done now. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the art. This is the main living area we've got going on here. We have our new couch, which we sh showed you a little preview of before, but now we're gonna show you the whole thing because you deserve it. And here we go. Look at all these little colors. We're really liking the natural like jute look with the black. That's kind of the color and the terracotta we have going on too. We have our shelves up with all of our new pots and different colored themed things. Mm -hmm. This is new to us. We're, we're learning how to match and mix and match. Mix and match? Yep. Mix and match different things. Look at our little plant garden <laughs> going on here. We got some coasters thanks to a Patreon fam. And let's come on over to the dining area because I love this. I mm -hmm. love this. The table. I think we may have talked about it, but I don't know. This table is a dream come true. Mm -hmm. These chairs, I feel like I'm sitting on a cloud. Am I in heaven? Perhaps. We have the tablecloth that brings the terracotta in. So these paintings, they're at a store that we really like, that we've told you guys about before, Urban Barn, okay? We love Urban Barn, they've got great stuff. Found these on the wall there. I fell in love with them. Holly was like, I don't know, Paige. They might be a little dark. I like them, but not sure about the vibe. So we were contemplating going back and forth, and I said, like, what if we just got them, took them home, saw how they looked, and if we didn't like them, we could return them. So we both agreed on that, hung them up. Well, Holly hung them up for me because I would never know how to begin with that. And we both loved them. I put them up as a surprise for you. You did, and it was the best surprise ever. Also, this is Abby's painting that she made for us, which some of you guys may know Abby just left for Sweden um, just a couple days ago. And before she left, she wanted to make something for Holly and I for our house. And she knew uh, roughly the color vibes we were going for. And so she made us this and surprised us with it the day before she left. Um, so we're going to eventually hang it up somewhere, but for now we have it set out here to 
remind us of her uh, whenever we're missing her. So yeah, it means a lot. So shout out to Abby for the amazing piece of art. She did a great job, like getting all of our colors in, like this, um, and everything's so freaking textured. Yeah. But yeah, like this matches the same color as our chairs and the blacks and the terracottas and stuff. And we've really been learning a lot with Skillshare, actually trying to figure out how to like get different colors in throughout the room and like still have things that we like mm -hmm. um, and build around them and not just copy a magazine you know what I mean like it's exactly. kind of about building your own space it's you're supposed to be able to figure out your own style the Skillshare course that we're taking currently um, there's like a type of questionnaire involved that helps you determine your style um, and then once you've got your style, you're able to pick pieces um, of furniture or decor that all mix and match together mm -hmm. to kind of help create that vibe or style or energy that you're going for. And we're so happy with how everything's turned out. Yeah. Um, and I know we could not have done it without Skillshare, so. Yes, yeah, so thank you Skillshare, who is also the sponsor of this week's video. Would you look at that? Yay. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes you can join online. We've been using Skillshare to explore our creativity and learn more about the things that interest us. Now that we've repainted our house, we're finally able to start playing with decor. We took a class called Style Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design, taught by Emily Henderson. We learned how to incorporate the style we like, pulling colors in throughout the room so it is cohesive and flows. Skillshare is designed to help you learn, so there are no ads to get in your way. They also have classes on everything from productivity to cooking to photography. So if you guys are interested in Skillshare, you can click the link in our description. The first thousand people to click will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium so you guys can explore Oh, your creativity too. Thanks, Skillshare. And now let's show you what else we've been doing. And then the other new thing up here are the bathroom lights. When Paige was at the airport dropping Abby off, we had picked this out a long time ago, but we didn't really know how to get it up. That's, so what, that's what she he said. said. So I surprised her one day and put it up for her instead. But of course, with this house, as you're probably noticing, nothing is without its <laughs> flaws. So there was a ton of shit we had to do behind it. And then we had to lower the mirror to get these to fit, but it all worked out in the end. Another thing that we've been wanting to update for a while and we finally got around to, it's not complete yet, but we knew from the beginning, we told you about this, it was a big pet peeve of mine. It was the inside of this shower. It was a very spooky, dark shower. Um, kind of looked like we were in, I don't know, a cave. We decided we were gonna paint the tiles. Yes, very scary, very spooky, but we did it and they're not without error but here we are <laughs> with the new improved light tile shower we didn't realize before how not white our tub was it looked super white next to the dark gloomy <laughs> tile but now as you have a look here this looks like brown you may also notice the shower curtain and you may think oh wow that looks new well no 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 it's actually old and holly just used her spray painting skills to <laughs> paint over the silver bar that used to be here. Freaking uh, incredible. <laughs> We're so happy with how that turned out. And um, we got our new shower curtain here. And um, we were eventually gonna change out all the fixtures in yeah. here or at least spray what we're able to. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like black and white in here. I'm proud with how far it's come so far. Me too. I think now that we painted it white, it does look a bit um, sterile in here. So like, like the wood and the warm lighting and stuff that's okay over here but this side i don't know if we need like some funky green wallpaper or yeah. maybe like once we get the towel hooks and racks up to have like bright towels but it needs a bit of life over that side unless we kept that big tree there yeah well we'll think about that for yeah. sure <laughs> Have you thought about it yet? I'm gonna go for now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Something else that we did is we finally put the curtain rods back up. Uh, we took every curtain rod down, <laughs> every single one, to patch and paint because we repainted every single wall upstairs because we wanted them higher and wider before the curtains kind of like the furthest they could go were here and mm -hmm. it made the windows look really small. If you can basically see the frame of the window, it opens up your whole room and we love the front windows, so they're really yeah. nice. <laughs> you can tell that we've raised the bar <laughs> quite literally because our curtains are now floods. We desperately need new curtains. They're both the exact same, so this is our office. Here it is. No chair. Um, Ta-da! Standing desk. <laughs> My posture's even worse though. Yeah. <laughs> That's like 
give me pre-twerk. <laughs> we got these, I think these are from Boucler, and then mm -hmm. these were the curtains that they had. Again, they're a bit flooded now, so we need some longer ones. But yeah, we have this one in here and in the bedroom because we want to tie black throughout the house. I was just doing some work upstairs and Paige yells for me from the basement and says, Holly, we've got a big issue here. And big issue it was. Um, would you like to explain? <sighs> Take a look at these beautiful pieces of God knows what. <laughs> kind of looks like pavement that was driven over with a bike. Yeah, it's like it's hard. Okay, it's and you may rough. be saying, you may be saying, what are these beautiful pieces of structure? Mm -hmm. um, and to that, I tell you, I have no <laughs> idea. It came out of our washing machine. It has ruined our clothes. They are dirty, dirty, dirty. Oh, are those are bed sheets. How would you like to sleep on this tonight? <laughs> Thought? They're cleaner than when they went in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what that's from. Yeah. Both sides. Anybody who's a not a mechanic. Plumber. Plumber. Got any tips for us here? Look at that. That's a nice clean sock. And oh, while we're on this, the topic of this, mm -hmm. you guys see how this is nice and there's broken pieces of plastic here. Okay. Um, well, I decided today I was going to wash our clothes with some bleach to help clean out the disgusting scent of wet dog that was coming from our clothes mm -hmm. because they dried funny last time from the washing machine being too wet. So I'm like, I'm just going to test out the bleach. I'm going to use a third of what I usually would use and I'm just going to put a, just a light dash just to <laughs> try it out. Well, try it out I did, did I, Holly? <laughs> you did, Paige. Um, and I have ruined Holly's family towel <laughs> passed on from generation to generation. <laughs> These are things that probably would have come up if we had a safety of the house, but because of the market, any kind of safety in the offer completely eliminates you from the table. Mm -hmm. So we overpaid and inherited a piece of shit. <laughs> Hi everyone. We're back again, but this time I'm about to show you what Holly's up to. Hi Holly. Babe. What you up to in here? I don't have a look, but I just dragged out of the uh, shower here. Oh my. Yeah. So oh my god. I think they wash their dogs in here. This, I believe, is mold. Like we clean the drain separately, mm. put that in a bag. This is just from the shower, so I think okay. we're gonna get all this shit out and re silicone it. Because yes. We want to change out those fixtures. Uh, hopefully for black ones at some point uh, just to kind of update it a little bit and also we were thinking this silver here We'd like to paint black too. Yeah um, Sorry, I just found a dog hair All right guys, so another thing in here is we now have one of the couches downstairs here You may recognize this couch from the classic sit-down spot from our old videos. The rest is pretty empty still right now, uh, but it wasn't that way, what, a week ago, Holly? Oh my goodness. We had Paige's parents over to just say thank you for like all their help with moving and everything. It was a real life, where's Waldo down here? Mm -hmm. Because because we only had like a couple of boxes to move, every time we'd bring something here, we had to basically dump everything out and then yeah. take the empty box back to the condo. We were doing runs multiple times a day. You could not see the floor from, yeah. from literally, I'm not joking with you, from about here mm -hmm. all the way back, all the way back. Yeah. You would have to find something like this. <laughs> and how sexy did that that was, that was really, um, wow. <laughs> here's our guest bedroom, because we have a house now. <laughs> yes. Usually, uh, if ever we had anyone sleep over, they'd either be on the couch, on the floor, or on a blow-up mattress that would deflate halfway through. So you guys might recognize, this used to be at the foot of our bed, this was Paige's side table, um, this is the bed we bought off the previous owners, they give us a really good deal on it. This is from our living room, yes. uh, in the corner of the condo. As of right now, it's the guest room. I think we're gonna have it as our studio mm -hmm. once we get a carpet put in on in the other room. The right. concrete room, as we call it. <laughs> this was my bed set in London University. We're quite familiar with it. Yes, Paige got very well acquainted with it. Mm -hmm. Very fast. Loved that blanket. Did ya? We should put it on our new bed. <laughs> Rouge. Now we have two beds. Oh my god. All right, are you ready? I am. Why not use that hose? Because it's too long, it'd be too awkward. Oh. 
that's there's no power in that. The hose was blocked for any of you wondering what the hell is going on. It wouldn't suck up the yeah. shower. We have used this every day for seven weeks, mm -hmm. and when we film it, it's blocked. Hi again. Um, we're having a little lunch break at 5.45 p.m. Maybe it's dinner. So for those of you who know Paige really well, know that Indian cuisine is her favorite, which is a new thing for her because before it was ketchup and sour cream, wasn't it? It was, Holly, it was. <laughs> we ordered Indian last night. I did a little surprise for Paige. She was having a tough day. So, so I'm gonna show you, I made my own pickles and I'm pretty proud of them, so I'll show you. So here are the pickles that I made. They're a bit tucked into now. They should have done it when it was full, but this is Paige's. Ta-da! Look Fully at how good loaded. it looks. Looks like pizza, but way better than pizza. All right, so take a bite and do a big, big YouTuber reaction, please. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're back at it again with another DIY here. We've been wanting to do this for a while, but this cabinet here was like a dark brown black color. It's since faded and like been worn down. We got a bunch of the tarps out here, a couple tools that we'll be working with. <laughs> Not the tampons there. We're just gonna paint this over. We'll try and record a little bit here. We'll see how it goes. It is currently 11.01 and we are still working on the vanity here. Uh, we're actually just finishing up for the night because there have been some issues we've run into. The outside of the vanity looks great. Like it is really smooth and nice and we're really happy with it. And then the inside of the vanity, they were like a, like a waxy coat. I thought that it would look good to have the insides painted black and Holly did too, but Holly didn't want to have to do it because she thought it would be a lot of work and I thought it wouldn't be too much. Like I didn't think it would be bad, but uh, yeah, ended up being real bad. Holly is very happy with me right now. It's not I know. you, I just, this is like my third day in a row having days like this yeah. and I really wanted today to just chill, but Paige set a break timer for 16 minutes. <laughs> That's all I had today. Now I just want to watch a movie, please. We're gonna watch a movie now. We're taking a break for the night. We had sanded these. I'm just, I really want to show you how this actually turned out though. The uh, insides were sanded, believe it or not. And... Show them mine. Mine's way worse than yours. We sanded the shit out of these. I'm telling you, like we spent like 30 minutes sanding. Yeah, like my nails are yeah, we sanded so much, but um, whatever wax or whatever is on this stuff is horrible to paint. We'll need another coat tomorrow after we sand it down in the places that weren't good. So still some stuff to do, but it's coming and tonight is now break time and Holly needs some hugs. Yeah, let's go sit and watch our movie. We're gonna sign off for the night. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, probably working a little bit more. Um, and then maybe spend some time around the pool tomorrow. We'll see what's going on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good night guys. Hi everybody! Hi! Good morning slash good afternoon. It's almost four o'clock here, so that's how good we are at vlogging. Just great. We're getting better every yep. day. Every day. <laughs> it's a highway. Um, <laughs> so we were supposed to go to the pool today, um, as we signed off last night. Um, we've yet to go to the pool. We did a little bit of work today. Um, Paige has been working on the house non-stop. She cleaned everything, mopped everything, went on a run this morning. I stayed in bed till half 11, drank a cup of tea that Paige made for me. I've had a great day so far. Then you made me breakfast and you went and filled up gas, so more even. So I know we showed you like a little bit of the living room and the upstairs floor at the start of the video, but since then we've noticed that things have been quite negative. negative. So we're gonna show you a place that is very positive, which is outside. Yeah. So here is outside. You may notice there's a different setup than you may have seen previously. We now have made a combined jumbo bed. I don't know why we never did this at the condo. I, we may not have had the room, but yeah. whatever, it's here now, a big bed. Um, Holly surprised me with putting this, this fireplace together in our old storage bin, like storage container thing. Projector, 
And she surprised me with this brand new light. This is bent. It shouldn't be like this. So I'm going to try and get uh, switch it out for a new one. Mm. Oh my god. I do think there are some spiders on me. Anyways. <laughs> That's the new light. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Holly surprised me by putting that one up as well and um, getting all this ready for me the other night and it was super special and amazing. Yeah. Or a couple nights ago, yeah, we both sat here with like blankets and snacks. We had the fire on and then that table was here and had the projector and we watched Twilight here. We're working our way through the saga. It's amazing. Yeah. And horrible all at once. Yeah. <laughs> I know why I loved it, but I also don't know why I loved it. Yes. You guys haven't seen our backyard in the light. We only showed you in the dark, but um, I don't know if you guys remember from the pictures, there were so many holes here and now it's like bright highlighter green. Yeah. We're um, very proud of it. And we painted the shed. We did. We got a new deck on there though. We, we got a deck. Thanks to my dad for his handyman skills. I could not have done that. Absolutely. Um, my mother for her painting skills. Mm -hmm. We'll show before and afters. I can't remember if we had showed you guys that before. Yeah. We have some plants. We're plant people now. And ignore that hole. It's growing. While they may not be in the, the best condition here, we do have some daisies that my dad helped plant this um, morning. By not in the best condition. Um, it's quite literal, isn't it? It is. I would say right now, I feel like this daisy, myself personally, but I do believe that's me mm -hmm. but i do believe that i can come back and be a daisy like this one yeah. day soon and here we have a walkway which used to be nothing but just dirt and mud um and we've converted it into a very nice stone with some lights why do you hold that ball more than you hold me i can replace it better <laughs> better for me <laughs> well I think that kind of concludes everything that we've done to the house so far good and bad mm -hmm. we'll keep you posted with it um, yeah if you guys like these type of videos I yeah. know we've been you know, there's been tons of suggestions in our comments before about doing like updates of the house so yeah um, we can do more of them if you guys are interested there's still tons of projects we have ahead of us to really make this place our own and really personalize it but we're really happy with what's like what we've been able to do so far so if Definitely. you guys want more updates we're going to be recording stuff so just leave it in the comments along with a thumb blast and we would greatly appreciate it okay guys thank you have a good week and we'll see you soon bye guys bye